Today's review is on the book Still Lives by Maria Hummel. Hi guys, welcome back to Completely Karen. Thanks so much for stopping by. So today I'm doing a review on Reese Witherspoon's Audible Book Club of the Month called Still Lives and it's by Maria Hummel. So I just wanted to let you know that if you are a true crime fan or if you are a mixed drinks fan, check out my new channel that I started called Mixed Drinks and Murder. You can click up here and it will give you a link and take you right to it. You guys can subscribe. I tell a true crime story and make a mixed drink and it's real fun over there. So stop by and let me know what you think. All right, let's jump into this review. This book, Still Lives, is about this avant-garde artist named Kim Lord who always does these crazy things and her newest exhibition that's opening in just a couple of days is all about her recreating self-portraits of herself as famous murdered women. So basically she would take a crime scene photo of like Elizabeth Short who was the Black Dahlia and she would recreate that photo as herself and then take pictures of it and then paint the picture. And she does that with several very famous murdered women. Basically it's opening, she disappears, and then we've got our protagonist Maggie who works at the art gallery where this is going to be opening who wanted to be a journalist but isn't because she just feels like she couldn't hack it and so she has to solve this murder? I don't really buy it. Um, guys, I'm gonna give it a no on this one. I didn't find this book super interesting. I thought that it took way too long to, for anything to even happen. Some of the characters I just didn't think were believable. I didn't like Maggie's best friend who also works with her. Maggie was really boring and I think it's hard to really like characters when you've got somebody who's boring uh, somebody who's a bitch and then a bunch of people who I thought should have had bigger roles and then they didn't and they just kind of disappeared from like the face of the earth in this book and I was like well where did that character go I don't know I just didn't find it interesting the only stuff that I thought was interesting when they actually would kind of talk about the true crime stories and the murders and they'd tell a little bit about them anyhow I just thought it was too slow I didn't really like the ending and personally after you find out what happened and who the culprit is of all things mystery um it just went on and on and on like i thought that it would end and then it didn't and then I just i mean i don't really know what else to say about it other than i wasn't impressed i'd give it maybe two stars out of five and i would say if you're looking for a really good mystery Anything by Michael Connelly is amazing. Kate Morton throws out amazing mysteries that you do not see the ending coming to and they're not even like in the mystery section. They're such great historical fictions. So I would say check out those two authors over this one and maybe hopefully Reese will have a better pick for us next month. Fingers crossed anyhow. All right, well, that's my review of Still Lives by Maria Hummel. Again, I would say skip it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you thought of this book if you read it or if I saved you the time and energy by watching this review because now you don't have to waste your time. There you go. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time on Completely Karen. Bye.